All right, guys, I'm Sean Campbell, the founder of The Workout Warrior. And throughout this video and a lot of videos, I'm gonna call you guys workout warriors, okay? And the reason for that is because we are all workout warriors. We all have a story. We all have our challenges. One thing we have in common is we're trying our very best, no matter what level it is, to incorporate workout and fitness into our lives. So that is what makes you a workout warrior. I'm a workout warrior, you're a workout warrior. There's a lot of workout warriors out there. You don't have to be a whatever, a competitive bodybuilder or whatever to be a workout warrior. If you're someone, a mom or a dad, who's doing their very best to fit their workouts in when they got time, or to be a role model to your family or those around you, you're a workout warrior. Okay, and today, Today I got something fun for you guys. Since we all like workouts, right? I'm gonna take you through a great workout. It's gonna be a full body dumbbell workout. And what I'm gonna call it is, it's called the Workout Warrior Full Body Dumbbell Workout. And we're gonna get things started right now. The Workout Warrior Beginner Dumbbell Workout is for those who are either new to fitness or they're just trying to get the groove back, trying to get right back on track. That's why this, that's what this workout warrior full body dumbbell workout is for. We're changing lives, guys. We're changing lives one workout at a time. Before we get into the workout, let's get our bodies warmed up with a five minute workout warrior beginner warm up. This will get your body primed, ready for action by slowly increasing your heart rate and elevating your body temperature, making you ready for anything. And it will also minimize the risk of injury. Let's get into it. All right guys, let's get the warm up started. We're gonna do about 12 different exercises here. And we're gonna do counts of 10 for each exercise, okay? So if you're on your own, just count to 10 or just follow my lead here. We're gonna start with slow forward and back head tilts. And we're gonna do 10 front, 10 back. Let's go. So just stand straight, your feet are on the floor. So stand straight, your feet are on the floor, about shoulder width. We're just gonna, and you're gonna just do the, your natural range of motion. So we're not gonna do anything crazy, okay? So we're not gonna push our head back or pull it forward. We're just gonna do natural range of motion because we're doing dynamic movements here to get your whole body warmed up. So the warm up starts now. One, two, three, four, five, and that's six. As you can see, I'm going forward, then I'm going back. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're gonna do side to side, but nice and slow again, and 10 each side. So one, one, two. Did anyone do these when they were younger? I know for wrestling, we used to do a lot of these. Like we really warmed up our neck a lot for wrestling. I need this eight. Eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Now we're gonna do head twists, ten each side. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Okay, let's go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Okay, now we're gonna do shoulder rolls. We're gonna do ten forward and ten back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now back. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, nine, eight, nine. Okay, good. So now we're gonna do slow standing high knees. Okay, this is good for warming up the, the hip flex, the hips, glutes, low back. So it's gonna bring your knee up. You either just bring up as high as you can by yourself. There's one. There's two. If you want more of a range of motion, just grab the back of your leg and pull it in. Three. Grab the back of your leg, pull it in. Three. Four. Four. Again, you don't have to pull them in. Five. And it's nice and slow, low impact, it's a beginner. But also keep in mind, not many people do warm ups. So this is just good regardless. Here's 10. 10. You can do this warm up for any type of workout. If you're gonna go for a jog, you're gonna go for a workout at the gym, you're gonna do a workout at home, because you don't need any equipment for this, for this warm up. It's the workout warrior beginner warm up. So it's workout warrior beginner warm up, okay? So use it. We got more to do still. So we're gonna do something that's gonna help warm up the back, lats, sides, everything. It's like a jumping jack by slow, slow mo with a focus on stretching to the side. So let's start that one more time. So this is one, one, two, two. You wanna feel the stretch, you wanna reach and reach. And four. Let's go. Like I mentioned before, you can do this warm up anytime. Whatever activity you're gonna do, if you're gonna, even if you're just playing like a sport, a recreational sport, uh, a lot of people get injured because they're not properly warmed up, especially if you're, if you're a little older and you're not that active. Let's go. 10. Now we're gonna do something called alternating chest expansion. It's gonna help warm up the chest, shoulders, and back. So I don't know if you remember back in the wrestling days, or the, the professional wrestling days, when there was, like, I think there was like guys who came out like this, they did something like that. So we're gonna do that 10 times. And just go as full range as you can. They don't bounce, just go reach. That's one there. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Again, we're just going with our natural range of motion. Six. We don't need to push it. We're not holding it. Dynamic movements. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now we're just going to do a chest expansion, they call it. So we're just going to like basically bring our hands back and feel the chest. Bring your hands back, feel the chest. Five. Seven. Nine. Ten. Now we're gonna do another old school one for you. Who remembers arm circles from back in the day? We're gonna do a count of 10 and a count of 10 back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right. And again, another old school exercise. Who remembers hip rotations? We'll do 10 both ways. So there's one, two, three, five. I'm sweating already. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now 10 the other way. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Nine, ten. 
Now we're gonna do a backward leg raise. If you wanna hold the wall or something for balance, you can, but it's gonna bring your legs to the back as far as you can, 10 times each leg. So we'll do, we'll, we'll do all one leg, then we'll do all the other leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're gonna switch to the other side, same thing. Just stand as straight as you can, two. You're gonna probably feel a lot in your glutes, four. Ten. Okay, face the front again. We're gonna do it to the side for ten. Just whatever range of motion you can, okay? You get to hold something, hold something. Six. Eight. Ten. Other side. Two. All right, that's the warm up. <laughs> I'm already feeling it. I'm sweating. Like I said, I, I might call it the workout warrior beginner warm up, but you can use it for any type of situation as a warm up. Because as you can see, it's a good warm up for the overall body. It's kind of like the universal workout, sorry, the universal warm up. You can use anytime, whenever you need to get a proper warm up. Whether you're at the gym, just takes five minutes, guys. A proper warm up will mentally get you ready, will physically get your body ready by heating up your body and getting your, your uh, heart rate going like it is already. It gets the muscles moving through a range of motion. So it totally gets you prepared for anything. It's workout time. Workout warriors. All right, now that we're warmed up, it's time to get into the workout. I've got seven exercises to hit the entire body. We're gonna start with like the three major muscle groups. We're gonna start with the chest exercise, back exercise, and quads. And then we're gonna move on to the smaller muscle groups. So we're gonna get things started. We're gonna do three sets of everything. I want you to pick a weight that you think you can handle for a certain rep range. And the first exercise will be 10 to 12 reps. And we're gonna use it for all three sets. We're not gonna rest long. We're gonna rest, whatever. Just let your body know when it's ready to go. Just follow my pace and we'll get things started. So the first weight you use shouldn't be too heavy because you want to be able to use it for all three sets. We're gonna do dumbbell bench press to start. So I got my flat bench. Whatever dumbbells you have, use them. I've got adjustable ones here, so I'm gonna put it on. I'm just gonna pick a weight just so I can go through it with you guys of 30. So whatever weights you have at home, just use them. Or if you're at the gym doing this, just grab a couple weights and a bench to the side and you got your own little workout station. Okay, so you pick up your dumbbells. You sit on the bench. I like to rest the dumbbells on my lap so that when I lean back, they go to my chest height, right here. And that's your start. Feet flat on the floor, if you can. Press up, one. We're going 10 to 12. Let's go, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, good. Now bring them back, and now you're back. I'm just gonna set them aside right here. Like I said, we're gonna do three sets of 10 to 12 reps for the chest. This exercise hits like the chest, shoulders, triceps. Okay, like I said, it's gonna be short rest. So I'm gonna go again. Because if you can get through all three sets with the same weight for the same reps, then next time just increase the weight. Okay, so we're going again. Let's go. go. One. Two. 
9, 10, 11, 12. Good. Yeah, so just do your best to follow along. Keep up. If you're really new to this and you're really like a beginner, even if you just do one or two sets of this while we're doing the three, that's fine. Because the key is that you're doing something. A lot of people out there are doing nothing, okay? That's what we're called workout warriors. A workout warrior is always doing something. Okay, you're short. But roughly, if you're counting it by yourself, do about 30 seconds to a minute rest between each set. I don't have a timer here or anything. I'm just going by feel. If you need to rest a little bit longer than me, you may just pause the video. Then when you're done the set, move on to the next exercise. This is our third set. Our third set. Our next exercise is going to be for the back, okay? We can use the same weight. Let's go. One. Two. We use the same weight. So I'll put these here. I'll move the bench out of the way. Okay, the next exercise is gonna be dumbbell bent over rows. Okay, this, this is gonna target the back, biceps, forearms, and a little bit of the rear delt, so shoulders as well. So shoulders, back's the primary target, biceps, shoulders are secondary, and some forearms. Grab a weight you can handle for 10 to 12 reps. And we're gonna do three sets again. With this one, you wanna have your feet about shoulder width apart. Get a bend at the hips until you're close to parallel with the floor. You're gonna grab your dumbbells and you're gonna roll. Okay, so I'll show you from the side. So this is set one, 10 to 12 reps. So you're gonna shoulder width, you bent down, and you're gonna pull it in, one. Pull it in, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve. Good. Yeah, like I said, we do three sets, ten to twelve reps. Targets the back, biceps. Rear delts or shoulders. Make sure you have a little bend in the knees when you're doing it and you're bent at the hips. You want to take the pressure off the low back. Don't use your ego, don't be throwing weights around. You want to be able to feel it. I'd rather you use way too light of weights for the first workout with us than to use too heavy. I'd rather you use 5, 10 pounds with perfect form then go and grab 30 pounds and struggle and swing and use terrible technique. Because it's just like anything. If you're new to something, you gotta master the technique first. So focus on the technique. Take your ego out of it. Let's go, set number two. Bend over, one, two, two. Up, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. I said that's two sets. We're gonna do seven exercises in total. We just did two. And like I said, consistency is key. Get those workouts in. If you have to go through this workout and you run out of time, pause it. Come back and finish it another time. Maybe split into two workouts. Say, oh my God, I only got 30 minutes. Hit play on the YouTube video. Do it for 30 minutes. Hit pause. Come back tomorrow. Hit play again. Finish the rest of the workout. 
because consistency is key and a short workout's better than no workout. I'd rather do short, I'd rather see you do short workouts than no workouts. Set number three. Give you a little bit of a different angle here. Okay, let's go. One, two, two, up. Top. In this video, I'm going to give up more of a detailed description of the exercises right below. Okay, so check out the descriptions. It's tough to remember everything as I'm working out here. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go to hit our quads. The lower body, okay? So it's going to be like the legs. Sorry, it's the legs, glutes, core. Because you got to keep your body nice and strong and we're going to do a squat. Because I'm going to decrease the weight a little bit here. And if you have to do a squat with no weight, that's fine. If you have to do a squat sitting on a bench, that's fine. Do whatever you have to do, but get that workout in. Because for now, it's all about technique and about consistency and technique. Whoops, let's put 20 pounds on here. Alright, so what we're going to do is squat. So you want your feet about shoulder width, toes point slightly out, and, when, and, and sit back like you're sitting in a chair, keep your chest high, keep your feet flat on the floor. Okay, I don't want you lifting up your heels, I don't want you lifting up your toes. Your feet are flat. And you're going to sit like you're sitting in a chair, and go down, back up, that's one. Two. Like you're sitting in a chair. Three. Everyone's range of motion is going to be different because we all have different lengths of limbs and all that kind of stuff, right? But just use good form. Four. Nine, going to 12, guys. Let's go, workout warriors. We lead by example. We don't give up. We get our workouts in. We'll do two more sets of this, 10 to 12 reps. Again, technique first. Once you get the technique down, you can start increasing the weight. See, I may say I could be in our workout, it's only, it's not a beginner workout. You can just modify it. I'm making this challenging. I'm, I'm not used to moving so fast and doing so many different muscle groups at one workout. So this is a great workout. I'm sorry, just checking out my camera. I wasn't sure what was on there. Okay, that was 12 reps. Let's go set number two. Think. Sit in a chair, chest is high. Sit in a chair, don't let your knees collapse in together either. Your knees should follow the same path as your feet. If your feet are pointed out, your knees are going to go out just a touch because they're aligned with your feet. I don't know where we're at here. I think I got two more. I think that's 10. Up 11. Up 12. Little fun tip here. I heard that one of the biggest benefits to 
maintaining a healthy life as you get older. Strong legs. Okay, most people get hip injuries, knee injuries, leg injuries, the mobility, they lose their mobility because they can't move around. Why? Because they don't have strong legs. They lose muscle mass in their legs. Or they sit around too much. So guys, girls, don't skip leg day. Because I know workout warriors, we don't skip leg day. <laughs> And you're gonna sit, like you're sitting in a chair, and go down, back up, that's one. Two. Like you're sitting in a chair. Three. Everyone's range of motion is gonna be different, because we all have different lengths of limbs and all that kind of stuff, right? But just use good form. Four. Nine, going to 12, guys. Let's go, workout warriors. We lead by example. We don't give up. We get our workouts in. Now we're gonna do a dumbbell shoulder press. It's gonna be for the, the shoulders. That's gonna hit some triceps too. It's gonna to the shoulders and triceps from the targeting muscle of the shoulders. Your triceps are gonna get involved as well. You can either do this seated on a bench, standing, I'll do, I'll do different versions. I'm gonna increase the weight just because I don't wanna kill myself here. I'm getting a hell of a, actually a 20, I'm fine. So if you're doing them seated, just grab a seat on your bench and if they're, and just lift them up. If they're heavy, you can kind of give your knees to get them up, right? So this is seated, this is, sorry, this is a shoulder press. I'm just doing it seated. So you got them facing here, bring down your shoulders, straight over your head. Two, three, four, five, six, also by having no support on your back. Eight, it's a good core exercise. Nine, so don't go too heavy and hurt your back. 10, 11, 12. Okay, that's that. So that's a dumbbell shoulder press. And the next version I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do them standing, okay? I'm gonna move the bench back a little bit. That's right, guys. We made it halfway through the workout. Give you guys a round of applause already. Already, we're doing great. Because that's what workout warriors do. They get workouts in. They overcome their fears. They overcome obstacles. We want to be role models. We want to pursue health and fitness. We're doing great, guys. Okay, now I'm gonna do it, the same shoulder press, but now we're doing standing. Just keep a little bend in your knees when you, when you press it, just take a little bit of the pressure off the low back. So let's go. So now you just stand here, a little bit bend the knee. One, two, two. Ten, let's go. Nice work. And again, don't hog these workouts for yourself. Share this around, okay? Like, share this video. Let's get people moving. We're gonna change people's lives one workout at a time. You're gonna change your life one workout at a time. It's about consistency. You gotta think long term. 
Nothing's gonna change overnight, okay? It's one work at a time, one rep at a time, and you'll get to that goal you're after. It's doable, it's reachable, you can do it. But you gotta be consistent and you gotta believe in yourself. For me, I like to pace between sets. That's what I've always done when I'm cooling down, I, I walk. Getting ready for the next set. Some people might even have a seat. I don't recommend sitting down. Just so keep standing up. Even if you're using a machine at the gym where you're seated, once the, the exercise, the, the set's done, stand up, cool down, and then sit back down and do your exercise. We don't want to be sitting around. Sitting around is not cool. It's also just invites laziness, right? It invites a longer rest time. It invites just not being active. Let's go. Set number three. I'm doing standing again, okay? Press a little bend in the knees. One, two. Tap. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, good job. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, right? Good job, you guys out there too. Like I said, just give yourself a round of applause just for doing this, okay? You made it this far in the workout, you, you made it as far as turning on a workout and following it, okay? Because you believe in yourself. You want better for yourself. Then we use the same weight. We're gonna to go to what we call a dumbbell stiff leg deadlift. Okay, it's a stiff leg deadlift. So it really targets the hamstrings, glutes, low back. Just grab a weight you're comfortable with. So from the front, this is how I'd be. My feet are about sho little, little shoulder width-ish apart. I got the dumbbells facing outward, so my palms are facing towards my body. So my, sorry, the back of my hands are facing you guys. And I'm holding it like as if I had a bar in my hand, right? And then I'm gonna do a little slight bend in the knee. Then I'm gonna let the hips go out. Then I'm gonna let the dumbbells go towards my feet while maintaining a flat back. Because my goal is I wanna feel a stretch in my hamstrings. So let's go here. We're gonna do 10 to 12 reps. So we're facing this way. Slight bend the knee. We're gonna bend, keep back flat, we're gonna bend at the hips. Butt goes out. Right there I feel a stretch in my hamstrings. We go back up, one. Back down. You don't get the bar all the way down anywhere, you just go to where you feel the stretch, back up. Feel the stretch, back up. Feel the stretch, back up. There's five. Let's go. So always keep your back flat. As soon as you round your back, it means you're going too far. Because your back starts rounding, you reach too far. 12, so here's 12. Back's flat, aim towards your toes, back up. And stay down. We've got two more sets of this. And then we just gotta finish with uh, biceps and triceps, and a nice cool down and static stretches. But we're almost there, we're in the uh, home stretch. Again, if you go faster than me, you can speed up the tape. If you do less sets than me, you can speed up the tape or the video. If you only want to do two sets per every exercise, just speed it up to where you're at. Or if you want to do the three sets, but I'm going too fast, just pause me. And then when you're ready for me, unpause me. That's what a workout warrior would do. 
We overcome obstacles. The guy's going too fast, I'll pause him. The guy's going too slow, we'll speed it up. That's an obstacle, overcome. <laughs> oh shit. When you're talking to yourself in the camera, you just start saying random shit. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. From the sides, you can get a good look at it again. We're both shoulder width, a little bend the knees. Back of my hands are facing outward. And we're gonna bend at the hips, back's flat. Weights go towards your toes and up. You wanna feel the stretch. And you wanna maintain a flat back. As soon as you don't maintain the flat back, that means you, went, you lowered yourself down too far. Three. Four. Five. There. Uh, eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, good job. So it's a full body workout, right? I would aim to do this twice a week to three times a week. If you want to add in other just active lifestyle stuff, go for it. Ride a bike, go skipping, take the kids out for a walk, go to the park, go to the park with your kids, but don't sit there, actually move around. Do something fun with your kids. Take your dog out for a walk. When your dog goes for a walk, run around with the dog. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking ways to be active, okay? Could you get in two or three of these workouts a week and you add in some activity, and then you start watching your diet a little closer. So you're gonna get those results you've always dreamed of, those results you always wanted, those results you deserve. Okay. This exercise here is stiff leg deadlifts. This is a set number three. Let's go. I'll do a little bit of a different angle here. One. Butt out. Two. Up. Nine, ten, let's go. And twelve. Nice work. Now we're gonna move on to our arms. We're gonna do some biceps and triceps. We're gonna do three sets of 10 to 12. We're gonna go on to biceps. So I've got my dumbbells already set. Let's just see how this weight is. Cause again, I, I call it a beginner workout. It's not that much of a beginner workout. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling it. Cause I'm not used to moving around so much and doing so many different um, muscle groups. So these full body workouts, they work. Let's go, we're doing curls. These, these dumbbells are a bit long. Let's go curls. One, two, fully extended, two. Fully extended, we got our palms facing up. And you wanna feel those biceps working. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Let's go. Ten. There's 12. And take a little breather. Again, when you're standing up doing any exercise, just keep a little bend in your knee. It alleviates the pressure off your back. You don't want to be standing like this. You want to be nice and strong. When you're doing these, your chest, just always think chest high. That keeps your posture nice. Shoulders back. And you want to visualize and feel your bicep work. And again, we don't need a lot of weight on these exercises because technique is Especially at the beginner level here. Well, technique is always the most important. But especially now, if you're new to this. If you're new to this, I want you to focus on technique. If you have any 
If you're having any difficulties, drop them in the comments below. I'm gonna respond to every single comment that's down there. If you want me to put together a workout that includes no dumbbells, no benches, nothing, just full body workout with just your body. <laughs> A full body workout with the body. <laughs> no resistance of, of weights or bands or anything like that. Let me know. Drop it below. Let's go, another set. Grab those dumbbells and go. One. Palms facing up, two. I would normally let my hands go down lower, but these dumbbells that I'm using are so wide and bulky that I can't fully extend as much as I want. Yeah, with the bicep exercises, you're probably moving at a little bit quicker pace because it's a small muscle group, it's an isolation exercise, you're only targeting the muscle, the bicep muscle, maybe a little bit of the forearm, but mainly the bicep muscle. So it's gonna recover pretty quickly and you won't use as much resistance. When you're doing stuff like a squat or a ch chest press or a row, it takes a lot of energy out of you. You feel it, you you get breathing heavy. But with the biceps, you can keep on moving. So let's go. This is number three. We're almost there, I know we just got triceps after this, one. <sighs> Nine, 10, let's go, 12, nice. Now I'm moving on to triceps. Our last exercise of the workout is triceps. Okay, these are, we're gonna do lying dumbbell tricep extensions. And this, this is gonna really target, isolate the tricep muscle, the back of your arms. Okay, so we're, we got a bench. You can even do this on the floor, but we got a bench for now. Lean back. Want the, the dumbbells right above the base of your eyes. And then you're gonna bend just the elbows while maintaining your elbows pointing up towards the ceiling. Lower to the side of your head and back up. These dumbbells are kind of wide, so it's gonna be a little bit trickier to get a full range of motion. So I'm gonna go to the edge of the bench. Four. And you'll feel, you're gonna feel a major burn in the back of the arm. And for you guys out there who want bigger arms, two thirds of your muscle size or girth comes from your muscle mass of your triceps. It's not your biceps, that's one third of the muscle mass. The triceps are a much bigger muscle group and will give the illusion of a much thicker arm. And ladies, we all want those toned back of the arms, right? This is the triceps. I wasn't counting, so I'm gonna say that's 12 right there. We got two more of these to go. And then we're just gonna do some stretches at the end. You guys are doing great. You should be proud of yourself. You officially, whether you called yourself, whether you referred to yourself as a workout warrior before, just by getting this far in the video, you are an official workout warrior now. So when I say workout warriors, are you ready? Or workout warriors, we're this, we're that. I'm talking to you. I don't care what level you're at. You wanna be better, you wanna better yourself through health and fitness, through working out. That makes you a workout warrior. Because we all have our story. We all have our struggle. No two people are the same. No two stories are the same. No two lives are the same. But we're all workout warriors. Let's go, set number two. Let's go. So it's basically above, I always say above your chest, but it's more above your face. That way you get a better range of motion. Keep your elbows pointing up. You're bending just at the elbow. My demos are a little wide, so it's hard to get a full range of motion. If I had a smaller one, I'd lower right down. But I'm going as far as it'll let me before it hits the bench. Eight, nine, 
10, 11. Good, now I'm starting to feel a burn in my triceps. 12. Because remember those other exercises like chest press and overhead shoulder press. They also hit the, tr the triceps to some degree. So by the time we get here, the triceps are already warmed up. They're a little fatigued. So we're gonna be able to get them really pumped up. So if you wanna build those guns, <laughs> bigger arms, target the triceps and target them hard. If you want a nice firm back of the arm, target the triceps, target them hard. We train muscles the same way no, no matter what our goal. Okay? A muscle is a muscle. The key is consistency, guys. Okay, set number three. All right, let's go. Going to 12 reps again, two, four, Okay, I'm really feeling the triceps. 11. Oh, nice. Woo! Okay, that's the workout portion of it all. We just, you just finished the Workout Warrior Beginner Dumbbell Workout. Congratulations on making it through the workouts. Now we're gonna do the cool down. We're gonna do some static stretches, which are gonna help our muscles recover. And we're gonna hold each one of these stretches for 20 seconds. And then when that's all done, we're done. It's gonna be about three to five minutes. So let's go, let's do a cool down. So we're gonna start with a chest stretch. Bring your hands out and we're just gonna bring them out to the side as far as you can. Lean back, chest out, and just hold it. And just let your arms hang. I don't have any to count, I'm just gonna guess. Eight, nine, 10, 11. 12. And you just want to control your breathing too because we're trying to cool down the body, bring down our heart rate. There's 20. Now we're gonna do a shoulder stretch. We're just gonna bring our arm across our body and, and, and hold it. That's also gonna stretch the upper back and across the side of side the shoulders. So bring it across your body, pull it in with your hand, and hold there 20 seconds. see from the side. Next time I'll have something to count the time. But I'm thinking we have a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, okay, other side, same thing, 20 seconds. You see, I'm pulling across my body. I want to feel the mostly the side deltoids stretching, and you're going to feel a little bit of the upper back as well and the traps in the middle. But you're mostly going to feel the side delts. So you're going to do 20 seconds if you're on your own. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do a stretch for the hamstrings. What we're going to do is we're going to make our feet crisscross each other. And then we're just gonna reach as far as we can with keeping our back flat. And feel the stretch in the back of the leg, just hold it. Just, you might feel it in your calves as well. And if that's the case, just, just give a little, a slight, slight bend the knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Then crisscross the feet again. Just trying to make sure I'm in the camera. I don't got big space here. So now we're gonna crisscross the other leg. So now we're gonna stretch the hamstring on your um, right leg. Just reach forward, 
When you feel the stretch, and keep both your feet flat on the ground. When you feel the stretch, just stop. You don't need to go any further. Again, this one's 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You also get a bit of a low back stretch as well. We talked about triceps, now let's do a tricep stretch. Can you do a seated down? I'm gonna do a seated just so I'm in the camera better. Bring your hand up behind your head, elbow point to the ceiling, and just pull your elbow back behind your head and you'll feel the back of your arm stretching. Just when you feel the stretch, then stop right there and hold it. Everyone's flexibility is different, especially when it comes through the shoulders and stuff. But the more you do this, the more flexible you'll get through there. And that's a big benefit as well. That's something that we miss out on if we don't do cool, sorry, warm ups and cool downs, which we're all guilty of. This warm up and cool down portion of the video, you could use at any, for any workout. I can do my home or whatever, right? So if you want to do some weekend warrior stuff, play a sport you haven't played in years, go play a softball game you haven't done in years, do the warm up. Do that five minute warm up you did. The workout warrior beginner warm up. That'll help you for sure. That's roughly 20. What do we got next here? Yes, we're gonna do the quadricep stretch. Your knees are together. You're bending it, you're grabbing the back of your foot. So your right leg, right hand. And you're gonna pull your foot towards your butt, but you're gonna keep your knees beside each other because we're not stretching the hip, we're stretching the quads. If you have a hard time holding your balance, just grab onto a chair, brace yourself against the wall, whatever it takes for balance. And again, breathe nicely and controlled. I already feel my heart rate's coming down quite a bit. This has got to be about 20. Left hand, left leg. Bring it in towards your butt. Knees are, are parallel to each other. Keep your posture. Keep your focus, especially if you're not bracing yourself on anything. So now you gotta keep your focus and your balance. You gotta be present, right? And control your breathing. Look forward, be focused. This is the time, there's no pressure. We're just holding stretches. You're cooling down to where the hard part's done. And relax. Now I got one last one for the bend, for the, for the low back, okay? You lay on your back and you pull your knees in towards your chest. It's just called knees to chest. <laughs> I'm gonna move the, the microphone off to my pocket here. So we're gonna do a knees to chest stretch. So if you got a mat or anything, you don't have to have a mat. I don't have a mat. Just lay on your back, grab your knees and pull them in until you feel stretchy low back. And just hold it. This actually feels really good. You feel in your glutes, you feel it in your low back. It's definitely a nice way to end the workout. This is our last stretch. These are static stretches. Usually you do static stretches after the workout and you do dynamic movements as part of your warm up. okay? And if you're on your own, you got a watch or your phone or something, you can monitor the time, 20 seconds. And there you go. That's it, guys. All right, congratulations, Workout Warriors. You got through the entire workout. It's the Workout Warrior Beginner Dumbbell Workout. And you did it. So remember, be consistent, share this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below your feedback, 
Share with us your workout warrior stories because like I said, we all have a story. Tell us a little bit about yourself in the comments. Because we're building here a workout warrior community because we are all workout warriors. I don't care what level you're at, what your goals are, what your story is, what obstacles you have. We're all workout warriors. We are in this together. We are all wanting to improve our lives through health and fitness and working out. So again, thank you for checking it out. I'm Sean Campbell. Together we are changing lives one workout at a time. So let's keep it up and I'll see you at the next video, Workout Warriors.